now it's related to the central limit theorem so what actually we covered in the last video that i told you told you that uh, if the population is normally distributed i just told you that if the population is a normally distributed in that case we inferred two things what were those first of all mu that is a population a mean that will be equal to what that will be equal to mean of the sample itself that will be equal to the mean of the sample itself and the second thing that we inferred over here that was related to the standard error that was related to the standard error of the mean that is sigma x bar or we can mention it as s over here that would be equal to what that would be equal to standard error of the population divided by under root of n and by the under root of n and that is uh, only and only in the case of the normal distribution if the population is normally distributed okay and we further solve the numerical based upon then it is further related to central limit theorem so what is central limit theorem so it is relationship between the shape of the population distribution and the shape of the sampling distribution of the mean it is said to be what it is said to be the central limit distribution central limit distribution okay and what does it uh, basically assures it assures that as the sample size increases as the sample size increases the sampling distribution will approach the normality regardless of the shape of the population distribution regardless of the shape of the population distribution it will basically approach the normality over here so what do you mean by the normal population that if it is symmetric around the mean itself let me uh, let me tell you that this is the mean of the population and further if my curve is a symmetric around the mean then it is said to be normally distributed it is said to be what it is said to be that the population is normally distributed let me tell you that uh, uh, if i just draw that the population is normally is not distributed normally if i say that the population is not distributed normally the curve would be something like that let me tell you uh, le uh, let us take the case that the curve is no, uh, that the population is not normally distributed and here is the mean of the population and here is the mean of the population now you can see that the curve is not symmetric around the mean it is not symmetric around the mean it is not basically normally distributed but the central limit theorem says when we increase the sample size let me tell you that if there were uh, if there were 1000 candidates and further when i'll be increasing the mem uh, sample size let me uh, let me tell you if I, we were taking 100 as a sample size before and and further if we take a sample size of 200 now in that case it will basically do what it will approach normality it will do approach the normality over there regardless of the regardless of the shape of the distribution uh, distribution of the population itself the distribution of the sample that will basically that will be basically approaching the normality so if we take the sample of 200 in that case our sample will be having the normally it will be normally distributed our sample will be normally distributed what does it indicate it ind indicates that this particular line over here it is related to the mean of the population it is related to the mean of the population and further when we increase the sample size in that case the sample distribution approached the normality even though our population was not normally distributed even though our population was not normally distributed but when we are increasing the sample size it will basically approach to normality okay so that is related to what that is related to the central limit theorem okay so now let us have a look at the theoretical part over here so it says relationship between the shape of the population distribution and the shape of the sampling distribution of the mean is called what it is said to be the central limit of distribution it assures as the sample size increases the distribution of the mean approaches the normality the distribution of the mean approaches what it approaches the normality over here okay the sample actually needs to be not to be very large it is not the case that we need a very large number of samples because that is the main essence of the sampling now that we want to take a few entries a few entities out of the population and we want to infer the characteristics of the population itself that is basically the essence of the uh, sampling itself okay so we do not need to take a very large number of the sample itself and the significance it is related to it, it permits us to use the sample statistics to make inference about the population parameters because from the sample itself from the sample statistics itself we want to infer we want to infer related to the characteristics of the parameters itself without knowing the shape of the frequency for your distribution without knowing the shape of the frequency distribution of the population itself we want to infer the criteria related to it from the sample itself that is the that is the beauty of the central limit theorem that is the beauty of the central limit theorem that when the sample size increases it basically the same the mean distribution approaches the normality okay now let me tell you now let me tell you we have a question based upon over here and let us have a look over here and we will be solving this particular question we will be solving this particular question so under the central limit theorem it is quite clear 
that even if we are having the normal distribution or a non-normal distribution of the population, we will be basically inferring the same in both the cases, x bar is equal to mu and further sigma x bar is equal to sigma divided by under root of n. Now the question over here says distribution of annual earnings of all the bank tellers with five years of experience is given. So all the bank tellers who are having five years of experience, the distribution of annual earnings given over there and the distribution has a mean of 19,000. The distribution has a mean of 19,000 and the standard deviation of rupees at 2000 is over there. If we draw a random sample of 30 tellers, what is the probability that their earnings will average more than 19,750 over here? Now, first of all, do let me know that uh, what does the value of 19,000 represent? What does the value of 19,000 uh, represent over here? And what does the value of 2,000 represent over here? And for the n is given to be 30, that is quite uh, clear over here that n is what is related to? That it is related to sample size. So sample size over here, it is given to be 30 in this particular case. And uh, 19,000 over here is related to what? It is related to the distribution as a mean. So it is a mean of what? Mean of population itself. So it is a parameter. So it's a parameter. So in case of population mean, it is represented by mu. So it will be mu is equal to 19,000. And further the standard deviation. Standard deviation is what actually? Standard deviation is sigma. Standard deviation is a sigma over here. So sigma is given to be what? It is given to be 2000 in this particular case. And we need to tell what is the probability that their earnings will average more than 19,750. We need to tell what would be the probability that their earnings will be average will be more than 19,750. So let me tell the graph over here. So this is a graph over here and we are here we are having the distribution. Here we are having the distribution curve and further here will be the distribution mean. Let me uh, tell you that it is what it is 19,000 over here. It is 19,000 over here and for the, the 19,750 we want, we need to check what would be the, uh, what would be the, uh, what would be the probability that their average earning will more than 19,750, more than 19,750. So if we take that the 19,750 exists somewhat here, let me draw it on the plot itself. Let me plot it over here. So the 19,750 exists over here. That is this particular area. In that case, we, we are basically focused upon what area? We are focused about this particular area because we want to get all those cases. We want to get the probability for all those cases where the average income will be more than 19,750 over there. Is that clear? So in this case, we also be covering it through the Z value. So Z value was equal to what? Kind of do let me know the formula related to it. Kind of do answer at the earliest. And we inferred related to whether it is a normal population or a not normal population. We can simply say that uh, X bar is equal to mu that is equal to what that is equal to 19,000 over here. Okay. And for the second inference, it was related to sigma X bar. All we can do calculate it is a sigma divided by under root of n over here. Sigma over here that is a standard error. It is 2000. It is a standard deviation is given to be 2000. And for the under root n, n that is n is given to be 30 that we need to solve and further we can solve the value for the sigma X bar. So what would be the value for Z itself? Z value would be equal to x bar it is basically equal to x bar minus mu and further divided by sigma x bar that is a formula related that is a formula related to it related to z over here that we need to solve so what with the value of the sigma x bar first of all we will be solving the sigma x bar value uh, sigma x bar value over here so it comes out to be under root of 30 first of all 30 under root that comes out to be 5.477 so this value is equal to 5.477 so it is 2000 divided by 5.477 so it comes out to be 365.16 so sigma x bar is equal to 365.16 and we need to solve the z value so z value is over here is equal to x bar that is uh that is basically 19750 because we want to consider for the 19750 now so if you want to calculate the probability related to 19750 we will be basically considering x bar over here equal to 19750 itself so it will be 919750 do not confuse it with this value do not confuse for this value. I just uh, write it down for over here for the inference purposes. Over here we want basically for, uh, we are concerned related to that what would be the number of the tellers which will be having the earnings beyond uh, average earnings more than 1950. So it is 19750 and for the uh, mu value it is 19000. It is given in the question itself. It is 19000 and divided by sigma x bar that we calculated that is 365.16 and we can simply solve it. So it will be 19750 minus 19,000 divided by 365.16. So value over here comes out to be 2.05. So 
So the z value over here comes out to be 2.05. The value over here comes out to be 2.05 in this particular case. So let us consider the z table over here. So if we look at the z table, uh, here it is the value which is given that is a 2.05. Let us have a look at the decimal parts over here so that we can locate it properly. So over here, it will be this value. So this is this one value over here that is 0.4798. That is 0.4798 value. So what is the probability related to it that the uh, that we will be having the value uh, of the average value greater than uh, 19,750. So there is a simple concept related to probability that the overall value of the probability is one. The maximum value of the probability is one over here. So the value of probability varies from zero to one. Okay. So this is the maximum probability. So we already know the value of two this particular factor. So the value of, of two this particular factor is we uh, already have come across. It is it is related to what? It is basically point four. Uh, it is what? It is a point four seven. It is that we calculated over here. That is a point four seven nine eight. The value over here it comes out to be 0 0.4798 the probability value against the z table it is 0 0.4798 over here so that would be basically what that would be the answer related to it that would be the answer related to it so we were concerned related to that what is the probability that uh, our values can be greater than that of the those and here is the well answer over here here we are having the answer related to that okay is that particular part clear over here so actually let me draw in the on the graph itself and let me tell you the value let me draw on the graph itself again and i'll be just explaining the curve to you again so over here we were having the distribution of the curve and uh, we were having the mean value given in the quotient itself to be 19000 and we were concerned about the value of 19750 and above that what would be the probability that the average income would be greater than that of the 19750 over there that we are concerned about this particular area. We are concerned about this particular area where the average income is greater than 19,750. Okay. So we've got the answer as 0 0.4798. Got the answer as per the Z value table. We got the answer as 0 0.4798. Okay. Now we are concerned about the probability. So what the value it would be? Over here we are having the Z value at 0 0.4798 and we are concerned about the value above uh, this particular factor. So this value is related to this particular factor. This is basically this region over here is equal to 0 0.4798 in this particular case. Particularly to this particular factor over here. Particularly to this particular factor over here because each of the factor is having 0 0.5 of the values. Is having 0 0.5 of the values over here. Uh, for the, this half itself and for the other half itself. So if we are saying normal distribution or even if we are saying non-normal distribution we already said that if we reach the if we basically uh, reach the normality uh, when we take we, when we increase the sample size we basically reach what we reach the normality over here okay so over here we are having this half and further we are having this half this half is having the probability of 0 0.5 this half is having the probability of 0 0.5 in total we are having probability equal to one in total we are having the probability equal to one now we are concerned about what we are concerned about just that we will be getting the values above that particular factor of 0 0.5 over here okay so it will be 0 point it will be basically 0 0.5 minus the 0 0.4798 it will be the value 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4798 okay so that will be related to what that will be related to the second half that we are considering that this value basically purpose this value purposely that we need to calculate is that clear okay so that would be the answer over here that would be the answer over here that is 0 0.5 0.5 minus 0.4798 and that comes out to be 0 0.0202 0 0.0202 and if you convert it to percentage that will be 2% that is 2.02% what is the probability that the average income would be greater than uh, 19750 over here 2.02 percentage is the probability 2.02 percentage is the probability over here is that clear Okay.